Hi, I'm Kirk Newcomb and welcome to another edition of In Good Company. It can be very uplifting and inspiring when local people do good. By that I mean to succeed. We're about to introduce you to two West Tennessee songwriters that have paid their dues and are starting to get their work noticed in Nashville. Humboldt resident Ted Jones has been writing songs for 30 years. He started when he was a teenager, and although his career path has taken him through many twists and turns, he now finds himself working full-time in the music industry. Jonathan Singleton from Cedar Grove has been playing music since childhood. He also now finds himself making his living in the music industry. He and his band, The Grove, have been entertaining audiences in West Tennessee and in Northern Mississippi for the last 10 years. We caught up to them recently at one of their favorite venues, Barley's Brew House and Eatery in Jackson. They took a minute to share with us how things were working out for the two of them. We have uh, Jonathan Singleton of The Grove from Cedar Grove, Tennessee. Ted Jones, songwriter, musician, jack of all trades from Humboldt, Tennessee. Jonathan, we'll start with you first. Give us a little bit of an idea. You, you formed the band, The Grove. You were smoking jackets at one time. Kind of give us a little history about the band and how you got to this point. Okay. About a hundred years ago, <laughs> me and my brother started the uh, Smoking Jackets band. Actually, he started it. It was a credit to him. He started Smoking Jackets, started playing around Jackson. We were maybe 17, 18 years old. Not old enough to be in the bars, but we were. But we were. And uh, so he decided to do some other stuff. And in that, I was playing drums in that band. So in that, we didn't have a singer, so I kind of moved up to the front. And uh, long, long story short, uh, that gets us here. We got some guys that, uh, that I went to college with. We all went to college together, as a matter of fact, except for the keyboard player. And I uh, got them up to Jackson. We've been doing Barley's gig and uh, gigs from Indiana, uh, New York to Gulf of, Gulf of Mexico. Y'all are writing songs together separately and together and you've been picked up now you've got at least some of your songs are being performed you know speak to that a little bit kind of give us an idea of what's going on there Ken was doing a publishing deal in uh, in Nashville already he was already kind of established doing that thing and uh, so he was in here all the not all the time he was in a here lot. he was in here sometimes <laughs> once uh, in a while once in a while and uh, so he said, you know, I got some songs, I want you to listen to them. And I, I did at that time think, well, here's another guy with another yeah. CD or that kind of thing. So, uh, but come to find out, it's great songs, great stuff. We're still doing some of those very first songs that he, that he gave to me, and I didn't even write on them. Uh, but Ted was already doing his publishing deal. So that kind of afforded uh, me an Something opportunity to, for Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. To, uh, to go up, and he was cutting songs to, some, uh, to pitch to artists and things like that. And uh, so I got to sing on them, and uh, we wrote them together. I got to sing on them, and it kind of it kind of started moving us in that direction, you know. And one of the cool things was that I mean, I mean, uh, of course we were, we were uh, the emphasis was to sell the song uh, initially, and then but along the way it was like, who is this guy singing these songs? Man, they they really fell in love with. Uh, Jonathan's voice and uh, his whole style. And you got an opportunity then in writing and singing as well yeah, at this point. Yeah, we would go in and I'd say, I, I, I eventually started looking for a publishing deal. And uh, so I would go in and say, oh, I want a publishing deal. And they said, Well, you need to do an artist deal. And I'd say, uh, I want a publishing deal. And so eventually I just started looking for an artist deal and ended up getting a publishing deal. So that kinda, that's kind of how it worked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. West Tennesseans love to see local boys and homeboys do great. So or do good things. It really it is. is. So what? What's? What are the next immediate steps for you on your way to uh, hopefully a, a very uh, fruitful career? We are in September, going in to cut. Uh, I don't know three or five songs. The plan is to pick a single out of that first batch that we cut. Me and Ted probably got what do we say eight songs in that batch as of now. And uh, so we picked songs from that to do a single on. They say a record will be done by the end of the year, release date in 08. 